Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is Monday and it is day one of vet days. We have vets coming for the goats and vets coming for the horses. We also have these stall mats all over the barn. I can't lift them by myself and Gabby is so funny. I did manage to get everything else put away. So this is probably like Sam's side, what it's gonna look like, the finished product, unless he moves stuff around. But at least it's kind of like up against the wall, out of the way. We also have a fridge that's gonna go in here soon. We've been working hard to get all the junk put away. The stall mats are another story. This morning I tried to get Gabby to help me pull a mat into the barn so that the vet can come and check out Chino, do blood work on Chino. And she's like, I'm here, I support you, but I'm not touching that, it's gross. And that's Gabby. Anyway, we got Chino here, we're waiting for the vet. We're getting a second opinion. Our vet, who we love, wants us to get a second opinion because he's stumped. No, someone's here, so. Oh, okay. okay, so the vet has been, and we did some blood work. because we want to figure out what is wrong with Chino because this horse does not fit any mold. <laughs> He's always got something going on and the vet says it might not be a good thing. So pray, so pray guys. Pray for our big guy because it might not be good. I'm sad, I'm too sad. Too sad to video you guys. I just. We're gonna take the horses for a walk because who knew this grass is richer than our old grass. I'm glad I haven't let them out all the time yet. Shoot, I gotta go get our halters. It's glorious weather. It's gorgeous outside. But Sophie is sick. You taking Willow? Huh? You taking Willow? What? Are we going on two? Yeah, we can go on two walks. She wants to take. Needs to go on a walk. Yeah. She's the best pony ever. Yeah. Like you just pull her out of field and she's the exact same. I know. Just a little thicker. She's amazing. Yeah, just a little thicker. So I have we haven't got a routine going here yet. I don't know. Like, actually, I might take this. It's been a struggle with Willow because. We are trying to feed Chino, you know, to get his weight up. And yeah, Willow needs her weight down. And the reason we have Chino in with, the reason we have Willow in with Chino is because she's like the smallest horse, the one that doesn't need to eat as much. But it's not working out the, the way that we thought because Chino needs to eat a lot. Like how do you feed a big, huge horse and then a small horse at the same time? Like how do you, balance that out so that's been a struggle I'm just so sad though like how do you get alarming news from a vet and then go on with your day and I'm just so sad for Gabby but we had to get a second opinion because our vet kind of had tunnel vision and couldn't figure out like the Chino definitely has always been a conundrum and so he asked us to get a second opinion, and so we did. And the second opinion, who was an older vet, a more experienced vet, came in and basically right away said, oh, this is not gonna be good. Come on, Tubby, <laughs> we're going for a walk. You gotta get off the grass. Anyway, I shouldn't be upset now because he took a lot of blood and we're doing tests and nothing is for sure, but he thinks, he suspects Chino has the C word. So that, that's alarming. <laughs> oh man, I'm just sad, Penny, can you tell? She's like, who wants to go for a walk, not me? Oh, what are you doing? You're not supposed to hit my camera. Anyway, I don't think, I believe Tina will rally again, you guys. I honestly believe that.
You are cute. I can't run with Willow today. Why can't you run? I'm sick. <laughs> Our life is falling apart. You know, if we get to keep Chino, it will be like the biggest gift. All right, who's going first? Hang on. Hold on. Come on, Daddy. Gotta wait. I'm putting diaper rash cream on the store because his nose is like red. You got a, a red nose, Stormy boy? Look, even Storm's getting a bit of a belly. I noticed that the horses are. The horse's nose is red too. It's really red. Here, let me put some on my horse. My horse only has a tiny strip of white. No, but it's so red. I did notice that um, the horses have been really good about coming off the hay. So they go out there and they eat, but then they come off often during the day. So they'll just come up and they will stand in the, in the, this area here and get out of the sun. See how she just has a little tiny snip. There you go. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Storm, I, I think, should we let Storm go first? No, Willow. Storm is the slowest, but he also gets the maddest if he doesn't get to who should go first? Well, matter, just go. All right, just go. Stormy comes up behind us, though. That's not going to be good. I bring Honey out this way in the morning because she drags me over here. Does she? She loves this area. No, come on. We're not eating that. Be careful of that fan. Hold on. Good girl. So this is like really good for our horses to get used to going in small spaces. They've been really good at this farm. See that field over there would not be as rich because it hasn't really been eaten down. Whereas this one has been eaten down by goats. <laughs> so it's more rich. Look at that booty. You see, she's good at the back. <sighs> this still feels so sad. Somehow I thought this was going to be a leisurely walk. Penny's ready to run. This was supposed to be a diet exercise, not an eat exercise. Come on. That wasn't very fun. None of the horses were into the walk. It's not very funny. Sim's hooking up our gate. Yeah. <laughs> You're hooking up the gate? So, a few years ago, I found out about track systems, about like track fields, and this little area would be so good for that. If we were able to fence it all in, I'm not talking tomorrow, I'm talking like one day, they'd be able to do that whole walk down there and back for their field. So the vet actually said a lot of things, like so many things that I don't even remember. I couldn't even focus. Like, I just know that he was, definitely way more serious than our other vet and way more concerned than our other vet and he did say that if Chino makes it through this that it will be a really long recovery back. I feel like we've already been through a long recovery back. It's already been in almost a year really. Uh, it has been a year that we've been trying to like get him going well and I told him it doesn't matter how long we have to wait as long as he comes back that's all that matters don't you know that you're beautiful